Good morning, everyone. This is my Renaissance Grandma, and we're going to be talking about the Just Move movement. These are my window chronicles. Stay tuned. That's my renaissance grandma, that's my renaissance grandma, that's my renaissance grandma, hey, yeah. She be flipping that dirt, stay designing the shirts, she be knee deep in that soil, marinating them oils, making it, baking it, creating it, yeah, making it, baking it, creating it, that's my renaissance grandma, yeah. everyone this is my renaissance grandma i just wanted to have a very short conversation about what i call is the just move movement i wanted to do this on a live but um i can't do lives right now and I did not want to keep procrastinating on doing this because I figured it could help someone now. So as much as I tried to put it off and put it off, the Lord put it on my mind that I need to just do it because it could benefit someone. So what the Just Move movement is, is I realize a lot of people don't like to do exercises or workouts or even want to hear about going to the gym. First of all, they feel like they're, they're not in shape enough to do these things. They don't breathe well enough to do these things. They get shortness of breath and they don't want to do these things. They see the friends doing it. They look out the window and see people jogging by and they sometimes wish I could do that. And you know, you can't do what everybody do. You have to do what your body can do. And so that's what this little movement is about. Now, I personally know, I personally know more, but I'm only going to put five people in this category. I personally know five people who doctors have encouraged them to lose weight, to exercise, in order for some of their medical issues to go away. And some people just have these excuses of why they can't do these things. So that's why we just want to move those words out the way. We want to move exercise, workout, and gym out of the way to make people more comfortable about what they're going to do to make their self healthy. Now, these five people that I know personally, I know if they got on one of those scales that are at a dock, you know, the dock scales where you, it's just made in the floor, you don't push any buttons or anything, you just stand on it. And I know five people, if they stood on that scale, it would be 1,750 pounds, and I might be generous with those pounds. So, and these people, doctors, are encouraging them to do something. So this video is not for people who your doctor has told you, you cannot do anything to overexert your lungs or your heart or whatever ails you. This is for the people who their doctors have told them that this would increase your life 
if you just do these things, you will feel better and you will be able to get around better. Okay, so what is the Just Move movement? It is just moving, just that, just move. Whether it's in your home, walking around your own home, you know, I notice a lot of people who are overweight, especially like, say, I'm out with a group of people. And as soon as you walk into a room, the first thing you're looking for is a chair. Because, not because, I'm going to say you're lazy, but because you're winded. How many people have said, that doctor trying to tell me to walk, trying to tell me to exercise, he just don't get it. I can walk to the car and I'm out of breath. I can walk a flight of stairs and I feel like I'm getting ready to have a heart attack. Well, this is what you're going to feel like when you don't move. If your heart and lungs are just used to walking from one room to the next, that's all your lungs and heart is going to give you. And I know that feeling. Don't think I'm being insensitive. Been there, done that. And everything goes through your mind. You feel just like I said, heart attack, stroke. You think something is going on, but it's just because your lungs and heart are not getting what they need to expand and do what they need to do. And I guarantee you, if it's okay with your doctor that you try to exercise, I guarantee you, you will notice a difference. Because if you haven't tried this, you don't know it works. So if you start off doing a gentle walk, like I said, and I know some people have those homes where it's in a circle. You can go through the living room, walk down the hall, go across the kitchen, come down another little hall, end up in the dining room, and then back to the living room. One big giant circle. If you have one of these in your home and you are not getting exercise, just try going laps around this. When you first start off, you're going to have to stop and rest because you're overworking your lungs. You're pretty much putting a cap on what your lungs can do when you don't do these things. If you just do nothing all day long, walk from one room to the next, you have put your lungs and heart in hostage. You are not, it is your fault that you are not allowing them to do to work harder than they work. And I'm not talking about people that's disabled. I'm not talking about people who are sick. You know who you are and you know if you are one of those people that you just don't do it because you feel like, whew, child, I'm out of breath. But I guarantee you, if your body is capable of starting off with these gentle walks, you will notice that as you walk around that house, like I said, you may have to stop and rest. But if you keep doing it, first you wanna like do a nice little gentle walk as a workout, I mean, as a warm up, because you wanna warm them joints up that you're not used to using every day. So you start off gently, and then you will notice, say after you do that first round of your house and you come, uh, and you come back and you sit down. But as you do these day after day after day, you're going to realize, hmm, I think I could do that again. So you're going to do two. And that two may take up another two weeks or less. It just depends. And you will soon learn that you're going to be up to five laps around that house, 10 laps around that house. And if you have a yard, do it out in the yard. Walk around that yard. You don't have to worry about going to gyms. You don't have to worry about what everybody else is doing. You don't have to worry about strenuous. I used to feel guilty 
because people I knew worked out and what I called my little workout was totally different from theirs because they were because you in these videos or when you watching people they say you gotta work for it you gotta work for it and I used to always feel like well, I, I guess I'm failing because I'm really not working as hard as them I'm not sweating as hard as them but I still got what I needed and how many of us have been on up to five or ten diet programs or exercises during our lifetime? I'm sure there's been plenty of us, but I guarantee you, mine was not hard work because my body just didn't want to do that. But what I did worked out. What I did helped me lose weight. What I did, and when I stopped eating uh, certain foods, when I, I had not eaten uh, red meats for like 20 plus years, but I was still eating, you know, anything with a wing on it, I was eating it. And when I stopped eating them, then I started to notice I was feeling better. So when you feel better, then you really can exercise better, which for me was just walking. Now I've done little, you know, the exercise you learn in school, in gym. I used to do them in my home. I have, I have never lived in a huge house, not even a big house. I live in something small, but I've always managed to find a little bit of space to do my little walk or do my arm stretches or my arm circles or bringing my knee up to my chest, which that helps decrease stomach fat. See, a lot of people look at sit-ups, push-ups, all of these things, but do you realize you can do sit-ups, push-ups, and a lot of those exercises, sitting in a chair or standing up, holding onto a chair? Go to the search browser of YouTube and search Exercise for seniors, if you're a senior. Chair exercises. There are a plethora of exercises for you just simply sitting down. So if you're one of those, they cannot stand up. There are exercises for you. You don't have to worry about having barbells. Get you two cans of green beans or any kind of canned goods. There is something for everyone to do if your doctor says you can do it. So I just wanted to take this little time to encourage those who have put it in their mind that they can't do anything because they're out of breath. But you are out of breath because your lungs are not used to working any more than what it takes for you to go from point A to point B. And I guarantee you, I say again, once you start doing these walks, moving these arms and exercising and moving your leg kicks, marching in place, that's all I do. There is only 10 steps from my kitchen window to the sink. That's my little exercise room. Those 10 steps. I walk from the sink to the window, from the sink to the window. Then I march in place. I just, I just you know, change it up. And the best thing to do is do it by music. I exercise by music. I exercise by looking at YouTube. I exercise by li listening to my devotionals. I just walk, 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 stretch, 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 kick out my legs, do karate kicks. I just mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. And music that you knew that was from your past, you will find yourself, if you were exercising by music, it starts off as just a marching in place or walking and walking. And all of a sudden, you're going to break out in some of those dances you did back in the day. And you're going to incorporate all of I'm telling you, this is what I have done my whole life. Dancer size and walk. I have never been, a, never owned a gym membership, but I have lost anywhere from 20 to 60 pounds. Drinking my water, cutting out a lot of those things, 
you shouldn't have, which I'm guilty of sometimes, even though I am plant-based. But as long as you're moving, 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 getting that heart, that heart wants to pump. Them lungs wants to pump. And if you're not doing anything to get those things to pumping, then, like I said, those things are not going to. And then the first time you may have to break and run, you won't be able to because you, you're going to be so panting, panting for air, panting for air. You're, going, you're not going to be able to go far. And here's an example of that, which it always come to my mind is when a co-worker and myself was out walking one day. We was at work, and we was out walking on our lunch break. And we was crossing a parking lot. And we see this car coming up. On, it was a parking lot that had no cars on it. And we saw this car coming up on this parking lot. So it got our attention automatically. And so then the car started coming toward us. And so we broke out running. And she ran one way and I ran the other way. And all of a sudden as I'm running, I decided to stop and turn around to see where she was. And she, and I saw her just, she couldn't run anymore because she, she was winded. She couldn't go any further. So she just stopped. And he pulled up, not close beside her, but like beside her. And they both just looked at each other. Why she was just panting for air. And then he looks over at me, which I'm, I don't know, 200 feet away. And so he continued to look at her. And then he looks at me. And then he just drops his head and he pulls off. And what stuck with me about that day is she had, she was forced to make the decision to just be caught or harmed by this person because she could no longer keep up with the running because her heart and lungs was just not working for her. So we want to get those hearts and lungs working now. You don't have to do anything strenuous to get them walking. You just want to do something that's going to make you do a little pant. When you do a little panting in your exercise, which is in your walking, you know you're working it. If you started off not being able to walk from point A to point B, and now you can walk around your house five or six times, you know your lungs are getting exercise. So I'm going to close, but I want to encourage you to get those lungs and exercise and, and lungs and heart to move if it's okay with your doctor. Don't wait until you have to scary really quickly away from anything that could be coming your way. It could be a car. It could be anything. You want to be able to get out the way. You don't want to just have to throw up your hands and say, I'm gone. Because you know that if I try to scare you away, I'm going to get shortness of breath. So let's take care of that shortness of breath now if you are capable. Thank you for tuning in. I'll pray for you. You pray for me. And we'll watch God change things. God bless and have a wonderful day.